How you doing, Jersey? Today on Ledger Live, maybe the best freaking day of my career. I actually have adrenaline running through my veins. The Star Ledger Pizza Patrol, a band of writers and readers that has been slicing its way across New Jersey, sampling pizza and trying to find the best in six pizza categories today. Announces the winners, and here he is in the cockpit, the man with the silver stomach, the master of metabolism, Pete Genovese. You got adrenaline running through your veins. I, I do, I do. cheese running through my veins. Tell us about the research that went into this. 162 days, I counted them. Uh, all over New Jersey, finding the best pizza. We went 333 pizzerias, 1,000 slices. Wow. Exactly 1,000 slices. 1,000 slices. No one's, I've talked to people in the industry. No one's come close to doing anything like this. People, you know, the magazines have put out their little, but this is best of whatever. They, they haven't done anything close to what we did. Onward. Yes. Let's do it. Here we go. First to Belleville, where La Cecilia wins best specialty pie. You won best specialty pizza in really? New Jersey. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. The Palermo. Thank the you. Palermo, of course. From Palermo. Palermo, Sicily. So the cheese goes down on the crust first, and that's cooked, and then the sauce goes on. The cheese, the mozzarella cheese, goes underneath the marinara sauce. Oh. It's all about the sauce. We found so much pizza this summer, fall, and winter. Just all about cheese. Like, where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Here's the sauce right here. Shut up your face. Send to Mr. Bruno, that's Sicilian. Uhati Tati Bobazzi. A Sicilian that is light is a beautiful thing. And it's a light, it's like a light fluffy crust. And the cheese is creamy, and the sauce on top is fruity and bright. And there's a dash of olive oil going on up there, so you really get that olive fruitiness. Uh, it's just a great combo. Pominos to Jersey City, best margarita, Cafe La Rustique. You are the winner. <laughs> Shut up, you We make our own cheese fresh every day. I'm old school. The pizzas, yeah. cheese has to be boiled three times, rinsed three times. Italian San Marzano plum tomato sauce with fresh mozzarella, grated cheese, oregano, and uh, a little uh, olive oil. And that's it. Simple. From our... A, a true brick oven. I thought this was the winner as soon as we ate it. If yeah. I was sick, I'm better now. It has, it has healing properties, too. <laughs> Cured of what ailed us, we headed to Orange, where the Star Tavern cameras caught us, coming to award them best thin crust. Shut up, your face. $5 pie. $5 pie. That's like a Jersey you, thing. $5 Jersey pie. Accent. Can I get one of the pie. You know, our customers come here for a long time. <laughs> And our employees have worked here for a long time. We learned about the five dollar pie and these strange pan. We just take it to a machine shop. We'll give it to. I have a customer who comes to the bar. He works at a machine shop. I give him a batch of these. He brings them back with the other part cut off. One couple told us about their first date here. We had pizza. We had three cheese pizza and uh, a cheesesteak, I believe. Now I got a baby, and the baby likes pizza. I'm about to give birth any second. Whoa, we're out of here. Heading south now to Raritan Borough, Delucia's best plain slice. Best plain pizza in New Jersey? Really? You. Really? Really. <laughs> in all of New Jersey, not Somerset County, not Central Jersey. Really? Really. Small <laughs> calzone. He's going to take an order. Cooking pizzas in the same oven since 1917. It's always been the same. I mean, we don't really... The only way it would ever change is if they ever changed how they do tomatoes or cheese or, you know what I mean, but we keep... We've been getting it from the same people for a long time, and I guess the oven, it's so uh, seasoned, let's put it that way. I think the older the oven, the better food you get out of it. Well, yeah. Great crumbs. Six hours of pizza, and I was getting weary. My first lesson in life on the pizza patrol. It's a grind. Most nights, uh, 11 o'clock, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it turned into Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday to 11 o'clock. Then you got a full day Saturday where you're maybe going out and trying a dozen places. You're with people more than you were with your family. But you still had the moments where you get a great pizza, you get into a groove, a couple in a row, everything's good, and then you're at a point maybe after you've been to like three or four places, and it seems like it's a grind. Another doughy, raw pizza comes out. You know, everyone's moping around, walking back to the Munchmobile. But the experience overall was, was awesome. I'll never, I'll never forget it. Thankfully for me, the last stop was my personal favorite, DiLorenzo's, Hudson Street, Trenton, 
best sausage pizza. It was classic Di Lorenzo's with lots of longtime loyal customers. They used to have a little uh, icebox for the soda. People waiting at the door, and one cop who wasn't happy to find a giant hot dog in his parking space. Shut up, your face. Not me. Huh? Not me. No. Probably eat three, four slices and knock it bored. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's not every day you get to have something like this. That wraps up Ledger Live. Take it easy, Jersey. <laughs>